Welcome back to Exploring Whiskeys. I'm Eric. I'm Kevin. Today we are doing, uh, all right, so two things. One, we are doing another Adam Morgan bottle. <laughs> Thank you very much, Adam. Uh, and this is the Bardstown Discovery Series. Mm -hmm. This is the number five. I think they're on seven or eight. I think so. At this point. So they have two main series. The, it's Fusion, which is their stuff with other stuff. Yep. And then they have Discovery Series, where it's all, I think it's all other stuff. And it's oh, crazy. It all crazy. Yeah. On the side, they tell you not where it comes from, but uh, so this number five, 31% Kentucky, 13 year old bourbon, 74% corn. Uh, so we got a Tennessee 17 year old, is 25% of this. That's also 84% corn. So bourbon or Tennessee whiskey, 25% mm -hmm. of seven year Kentucky bourbon and 19% of six year Kentucky bourbon. So the youngest stuff in here is six years, but the majority is 13 plus. Yep. That's what they do. It's all sourced and then they blend it together. So it's a cool place. We obviously we went there back in September while we were up at the Bourbon Festival in Bardstown. Ooh. Got to get a sample straight from the barrel. Feel that. Ooh. Yeah, it's got weight to it. Yeah, it's nice. artificial cork, so it doesn't pop really well, but it's got a nice top to it. Good weight to it. But no, it's one of those distilleries. If you're if you're in the area, you should definitely definitely stop. Yeah, they do pretty cool tours. They have like a restaurant area, mm -hmm. big uh, bar, big bar, outdoor fire pits, and I, it, it you can hang out there. Oh, we got, yeah, yeah, we do. We got a bottle kill. Can we get a thumbs up for the bottle kill from Adam Morgan? Thanks, Adam. Thank you, Adam. We just freed up some room on his shelf. Exactly. That means we did him a favor. He's got he's got room for <laughs> something else. You're welcome, Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great. It's a great spot. Totally. If you're in the Barton area, it's totally someplace you need to visit. And they're growing too. Even over there, they had the the they concrete had pads poured for, for another what, four? four four more. Houses? And they just got. Did they get purchased, or was there a private equity private infusion? Equity. I think is what it was. I don't know if they bought the whole thing or if they just kind of like became a majority partner. I don't know. And they, uh, and they have a huge plan for expansion over the next handful of the more it's rick houses it's kind of like more our comment about or my my continued comment about Dickel. Like it's not very big, but they source a lot of stuff out. Right. So that's what Bar Sounds know for. They they make their own. They source they the fusion is theirs in there. They release their own barrels. They do a lot, of, but then they do a bunch of partnerships yep. and actually make whiskey for other people. But it's it's not just MGP where you're going to pick a barrel that you like the profile of. Like you, you can be involved from step one through the whole process of the mash, the grain, the, the whole thing. They're totally open to anything you want to do. I just like the tour. We get to thieve our own. We did. And then right, we're thieving our sample here, and then people on a tour are just right there filling their own bottle. Well, um, it's corny. Yeah. There's a lot of corn in that guy. <laughs> but I get some fruit, like a dark fruit at the very end. I'm taking a good sniff, like a cherry. As you pull, okay. As you pull away yeah. and you're still breathing in. And, it's like yeah. a cherry, dark cherry. I can see that. I'm there. Dark stone fruit. It's a, I'm there. It's 104.7. I don't really get a lot of proof. It's not burn. It doesn't burn. No, I just get a lot of sweetness. And none of these had super high rise. Uh, let's see. 18, 8. We're not talking about high rise here. After it's all blended together, it's probably 10 to 15. I get a marshmallow and finish with like a more of a milk chocolate, not a dunk. All right. I'm going to take your marshmallow and say it's, a, it's like... Not campfire charred, but there's like a it's just when you pick toasty the bag. to it. It's like toasted, though. There's a little toasty note in this. Almost like the toasted barrel. Maybe the barrel was toasted type maybe. thing. Like that vanilla, toasted vanilla type note in there. So I totally get that. I still... Your cherries came through again yeah. on the palate. I didn't get to chocolate, though. 
I got it at the very the back end of the finish. Okay. It's not s'more. It's not like a graham cracker chocolate. It's just I get the marshmallow, then it goes to the fruit, and then I get a, a little bit of a creamy chocolate. I can see your fruit, and I can see your marshmallow. I'm not getting chocolate. <laughs> not yet. You never know. The nose just keeps getting sweeter. The more you, you smell it and get used to, like you said, it's almost 105 proof. Mm -hmm. So there is obviously ethanol coming off of it, but, but the, it doesn't. You it's not get, burn. You don't get the proof on the nose. You don't get the proof on the palate at all. But when you're at the top of the, you know, you're nosing right at the top, that's so sweet. Oh, that, that small sip. I took a small sip. Now I get like the rye spice in the back, which you said there wasn't. None of them are over. High. No, 18, none of them are high. 18%. Because the highest. Yep. 18, I'm not getting spice. 8, 10, 13. I'm not getting spiced. I still get a toasted vanilla towards the marshmallow note. I get a cherry note in the palate really strong. There's a spice. I don't know, oak, maybe a little bit of rye. Uh -huh. I don't, I don't, it's. I think it's the rye. I think, okay. I think with the water, I think, you think the, the rye is going to kick up? I think the rye is going to kick up. Well, let's see. Let's test that theory. I have no idea. I really don't know what it's going to end up doing. I'm starting to get warm. Like, it's not a hug, but it's warming. Okay. And, and, and like, total gentle. Like, it's just like a nice general warmth. I wouldn't say that I'd got more rye off of that. No, everything's more muted on the nose for me. There's a little more age notes. I'm going to say I'm picking up a little bit more barrel oak going towards almost a, like a light tobacco note. Okay, I can see that. Like, it's not heavy and it's not quite leather because I, I almost said leather, but it's not. It's just a light tobacco note, like a tobacco leaf. So that first sip with the water, it was really, really sweet. I bet the cherry came out more. Even more. But I didn't get the rye in the back end like I thought I would. I no. was wrong. I thought the rye would come up. That sweet cherry, and I do get a, just a touch of your chocolate. <laughs> it's just it's just a touch of that. And then there's like a like a tingle. It's a not. Bit. I don't know if it's it's not spice. It's just a tingle. So barrel or or bacon rye maybe. I'm not sure. It's really good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's that's the the long and short of it. It's really good. There's a lot of nuance in there, and I'm sure. The neck pour is probably mi different than the middle pour, and now we're down towards the bottom. Like, I'm sure there is probably, this bottle changed the whole time it was open. I need to try that with those two glasses I got. The ones we thought that were more of like, um, like wine, like the ones that Liz gave us. The little short squatty ones mm -hmm. that were real. We thought it was maybe if you put a pour in there and you kind of let it air open up a little bit. Yeah. We need to try that sometime. Yeah. Try a little pour right out of the bottle, but then also put some in that little glass and then come back Let it to air it. air a little yeah. bit and see if they're, you can, how quickly you can change. Yep. Okay. Now, the Fusion, I don't remember the exact numbers here, but the Fusion release, which has like about half of their juice in it, is more like in the $50, $60 range, mm -hmm. $70 range, depending on what they're mixing it with. The Discovery Series, on the other hand, a little bit more. is a little bit of a premium. It's $130 for this bottle. Again, thank you, Adam. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Adam. <laughs> they also do a number of really great releases, like special limited releases that, honestly, about a buck fifty to $200. They have some distillery only releases, uh -huh. and a lot of times if you you pay attention to whiskey tube youtube stuff there's a lot of times there's a bardstown special release that makes it into the top five for a lot of those whiskey channels i want to go back to that remember the, the bar they had in the rick house yes yeah they used to be able to sit down with some people that work there and have a couple of pours i don't know uh, do you think they open those bottles or are they just it display doesn't bottles have to be any of those bottles but yeah. they could just just be able to sit down with some of the people that are behind a lot of this stuff right and just sit down and have a few pours with them but the, it was just really cool there it was a really cool so in the one rick house we went into there is a tasting room that's in the rick house the front of the rick house like facing the distillery area but it's got every it looked like, I'm going to guess, probably every special release they've ever done. So every partnership, the prisoner barrels ones that they did, 
the like every partnership model that they've ever done is out displayed there and it's just yeah it, it's a really cool mm -hmm. smaller probably 20 people ish max in there because there's some couple of couches and then a like a pretty good size ask bar in the whiskey club there yeah would love to love to talk to those guys mm -hmm. I, I just think they've been doing really cool things and they continue to like innovate mm -hmm. the they have a moving bar tasting bar where yeah, yeah, yeah. so they travel you know they'll be down in this area for yeah. a couple days or at a festival or at a liquor store or something like that and it's just it's like a it's pretty cool yeah it, it's a legit bar that they just, it's just on pull a trailer, a trailer and they just pull it pull it to and home. then at the kentucky <laughs> whiskey festival or bourbon, bourbon festival, festival that trailer was kind of in the heart of mm -hmm. the festival like they got Should prime spot true true Ooh, boy is that fruity now see that's you got to talk to let the water mm -hmm. have an impact and then that is really fruity mm. there's a little more rye in the back end on that one then it's more i got a little oaky raisin i got oaky like oaky leather t tobacco like those like age notes started to come through and boom. I, don't get I got my hug. I don't get a hug. Oh, I got my hug. I got the rice spice. All right here. After taste is like raisin. Hmm. I didn't get the raisin. Like a sherry, like scotch type raisin that you get sometimes? Yeah, a little bit. I don't know. Overall, it's really good whiskey. I think, honestly, that. I need to put that back on my radar of things to buy, especially mm -hmm. there. I don't own a single bottle. I, need I only to. had, I got the Fusion bottle, and that's the only one I ever had. Literally, Fusion number one. <laughs> it was the, the only thing I ever OG, had. Huh? Yeah, I got the legit first Fusion one. But when we sampled, I think it was seven last year, and it was really good. Um, but some of their individual releases are just, I, I've just, yeah, I gotta start splurging on those guys. I just heard they're amazing. So, did you like it better with the water or no water? Ooh. I'm gonna go no water. I don't know. I I can't. I'm not gonna say it's better. It's different. It opened up different parts of the whiskey. I don't necessarily think one's better than the other. I just think that they're very different. I got more of the. No, no I'm not. Obviously, I'm not opposed to the rye spice. I got more rye spice once we add the water. It didn't, the proof didn't go up. It didn't get hotter. I just picked up more of the rye on the back end. Okay. And I felt it was just that, that cherry, that marshmallow, that chocolate was more. It was really nice, neat. On the, yeah. Yeah. It, it was really nice, neat. But I, I don't mind that warmth that I'm getting. I don't mind it. But, don't and it also, I, like I said, I'm starting to get more of that aged notes, like the tobaccos and the leather mm -hmm. with I the water that. that I didn't really get neat. But I'm not getting any hug. I got a nice just maybe when I down this line. I got a nice middle warmth. I don't, I don't know what else. It's, it's a hug. I got a hug. All right. Good I'm bottle. Down to my, my last yeah, sip. Let's do this. Yep. Adam, again, appreciate you. Good uh, man. Thank you. Donating the bottle kill to the show. It's definitely uh, very, very appreciative of that one. Absolutely. Good bottle. Very good bottle. Yeah. But yeah, we got, we got some more of this. We really do. Yeah. We both need to splurge. We need to start to get into. This. I think we got to we got to start getting into the uh, those specialty releases because I just think they know what they're doing. They're doing Agreed. really good stuff. We're, we're on a mission now. Absolutely, we're on a mission to scour the stores here, and then when we go up to Bardstown for the festival yeah. again this year in September, we will definitely yeah. we'll roll by and uh, we'll roll by the distillery. Attack that yep. uh, gift shop. Well, we hope you enjoyed this review of the Bardstown Discovery Series number five. If you did, as always, we'd encourage you to hit that like button at the bottom of the screen. Help us out just a little bit. There you go. And while you're down there, if you're new, subscribe. We are trying to grow this channel and, and we, we make our way to 400. We've killed 300 and we're just flying up to 400 real soon. So um, anything you could do, it, just that little subscribe button would really help us out. And as always, if you've had something from Bardstown that tops on your list, drop us a note. We'll see if we can track it down, and we'd love to do a review of it on the show. Absolutely. So, well, thanks for watching. See you on the next episode. Cheers. Cheers.